Hello everyone, here is a question from exercise 11.1, third question, chapter is algebra of classics. The question is, cadets are marching in a parade, there are 5 cadets in a row. What is the rule which gives a number of cadets, Give the number, uh, given the number of rows, use n for the number of rows. So they have already given as a variable n to be used here. So what they are saying, they are saying that the like, cadets are marching and in each row there are 5 cadets. What is a rule which is given, which gives the number of cadets? Okay, now let's take cadets here. I'll gonna before I'll do this. Let me explain this. We know that in a one row there are five cadets, right? So there are one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is my first row. This is my first row. Now suppose there's a second row. In second row again there will be five because in each row there are five cadets. So in second row, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in third row, we're going to again have a 5 carrot. So total, how many carrots are there? 5 plus 5 plus 5, it is 15. Now for up to second row, there will be 10. So for each one, like each one row is added here, more 5 carrots are added here, right? So if you look at the pattern here, if I have only one row, I have a 5 carrots. Suppose I have a first two row that is 5 plus 5, I'm going to have a 10 cadets. If I have a three rows, I'm going to have 15. So if you look at the pattern here, 5 is nothing but 5 into 1. 1 is nothing but the first row. In second row, 5 plus 5 becoming 10, right? It's actually multiplication of 5. So 5 into 2, it is 10. Uh, because I'm talking about the two rows here, first and second row. So 5 into 2 because 5 cadets are there in each row and there are two rows. And for the third one, you can see it is 5 into 3. Because if I see the first three rows here, it will be 5 plus 5 plus 5. Or instead of adding it, we can write down 5 into 3. Now, suppose there are 4, it will be 5 into 4, which is equal to 20. Now, suppose there's a 100th row. There are 100 rows there. It will become 5 into 100, which will be 500 cadets. Okay? So, if you see here, this uh, the row is changing. 5 is fixed, which, which is nothing but number of cadets in each row. It, this one is fixed, but this is changing. 1, 2, 3, 4. But what is this 1, 2, 3, 4? This is nothing but the uh, row. How many rows are present there? So this number is changing, right? So this will become a variable. So this will be equal to a n. That's it. So the pattern is nothing but 5n. n is nothing but the row. Suppose you want to find out up to 6th row how many cadets are there. So 5 into 6, 30. 30 cadets will be there. So n is nothing but number of rows here. It's given the question to take n as a variable. So I hope it is clear. Now let me write down the answer. So let n be the number of rows. It's given in the question. Let n be the number of rows. Now we know that in each row there are 5 cadets, right? So number of cadets will be equal to or number of cadets in a row is equal to 5. So the pattern is nothing but 5 into n. So let me write down that. So total, total number of cadets, total number of cadet will be equal to, we have to just multiply 5 into number of rows. So number of rows is nothing but n here. So let me just write down that. So number of cadets in a row multiplied by number of rows that's it so i hope it's clear so when you substitute this you will get one second so here so it will be number of okay so when you substitute this number of credits are nothing but five so this is equal to five multiplied by number of rows are n so 5 into n which is nothing but 5n so i hope it's clear this is a simple question you have to understand the concept and in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment and thank you so much for watching